Welcome back, everybody. It is your favorite vampire, Apolline, here. And we're here with some more Alone in the Dark. Today we are taking on Edward's chapter for Chapter 2, The Hateful Mound. As we remember, last time we let off, we had to solve a couple of puzzles to figure out how to get to the Hateful Mound. And that meant figuring out a jigsaw. Figuring out a jigsaw puzzle of sorts for the amulet, so that way we can go to the next location. And here we are. So, let us begin. Hoping everything goes okay with this one. Oh, by the way, we also got the shotgun. Big old rusty chain. Too bad we can't go that way. So, as we recall from Elizabeth's chapter, or Elizabeth's side, we go here. Get the bridge lever. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. But anywho, pretty much what we did was that we picked up the bridge lever and now there's something gurgling. I'm not too far outside. Uh Here. Is there anything here? This is where we found the bridge lever. We're full up on health at the moment, so we don't have to worry about that. That's the pipe. Mother Clucker, I can hear you. Alright. Let's get this over with. Yep. Whoa. Nope. Not today. One, two, three. Ah, oh, he slimed me. Why? Why with the slime? All right. He's dead. He's dead. Good. Lag there on my end. I need to drink some. Okay, we're good. I already cleared that room. But, eh. Double check, see if anything respond. Nope. Cool. Alright. Now we can get across. Slowly. <laughs> I swear they did that on purpose. And double check everything. Make sure there's not like any Lagonapis that I can pick up. There's actually one up here though that I can pick up. It's over there in that very back corner. But I gotta get it. If you've probably seen from my playthrough as Emily, you saw that I'd seen it at the very last minute, but unfortunately, yeah, I couldn't grab it in time. Wish I could have, though. Oh, health drink. I'll take that. Thank you. All right. So. Let's see if we can get over here without... I don't want to trigger the cutscene. Okay. Cool. There 
this way. Cool. Cool. Ooh, discard a pallet. And that's part of the Heartwood curse. Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. Okay. Also, by the way, these sets are very important. I'm going to recommend going through and finding practically everything that you can on both sides. Because with the, um, not the Great Depression. But it's one... Oh, the Lost Children one will get you the shotgun. As for the Great Depression, I still haven't figured that one. That one's forbidden knowledge. Um, as the world moves into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. Of course, because the D Great Depression didn't start till the 1930s. And this is Louisiana in the 1930s. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name for poverty, also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy, of course, was no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. And these are all related to the investigation. This is actually the oil rig report, which I picked up earlier I just forgot as to... his pride faded detective Combe was left with a feeling of unease he had successfully managed to enter a whole new world how could this be and why did he accept this so readily one thing was clear there were no answers to be found by standing around questioning reality Knowing only what he read in the commonplace book, Combe headed off to look for Jeremy in the hateful mound. I also think that whoever is narrating nice. this is um, Cassandra. Mm. Well, of course, we probably won't meet mm. until later on. Okay. Anything spooky? No. So, might as well go ahead and... There we go. We'll swap over to the pistol for now. And of course, we get the cutscene. Whatever the hell that was! Ouch. <laughs> Can't forget the hat. This is like an Indiana Jones grab. What's up? Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Alright. That's one. And I know there's gonna be at least two in this area. you're there there's one in that section and there's one over there so I'm gonna pick up the health drink oh we got two anything in here nope I'll take the bullets a shovel. I don't need the shovel just yet. I want to see if I can get this thing, if I can lure this thing out. So there's nothing over here. There's another shovel. See if I can lower this. Oh. Come on now. I know you're here. I can hear you. Yeah. 
Come on. Ah, shit. There they are. Come on, get up, get up. Woo! I know you little bastards. Come on. Come on. I did not mean to run through the fire. Come on, big boy. Come on out. Shit. I did not mean to do that. No, no, no. Come on. Woo! How the heck did I miss that? Come on, come on, come on. I gotta get out, gotta get out, gotta get out of this gunk. Let me oh. oh gross, gross, gross. This one's gonna Woo! Ow. Okay. Uh-uh, not today. We ain't doing this. I'm not gonna come on. All right. Come on. Let's go. You and me. Got him. So that must mean that my pickaxe is on the verge of breaking. There we go. Okay. So the pickaxe only has, like, limited swings. So, let's swap this out for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and... Looks pretty weak. I just need something to break it. <laughs> oh, we're just clipping through. There we go. All right, there is one more house that we need to look at. So, let me wreck my pickaxe. Oh, just a shovel. So, nothing over here, cool. to go into that house. I've already gone into that house as Emily. We can go into this one though, granted, but there's gonna be a nasty little surprise. And then there's also this. swapping like that, but, like, is this? Okay. Hi! I know you're asleep. I play Resident Evil. I'm not stupid. Fear the power of my pickaxe. Surprise! Got more pistol bullets. Anything over here? Are you hiding anything over here? Because that's the reason why you're over here. Anything I'm also going to go ahead and take a sip of health. I'm not going to like doing this section. I'm really not. Because I have to go all the way around to get to there. In order to get up there. Which is not going to be fun in itself. Oh, 
Is there an enemy? That was the other one. section that you want to take slowly. Very slowly. y'all. Fuck off. Nope. 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 Woo! An honest day's work. At this point, I was not like I was not being smart with my shit. There's another rusty pipe. There is a way to get the other side. No, I don't want that. There we go. Give me the bullets. Thank you for the bullets. All right. So, I've actually got two of these creatures. Last time, I thought there was only one. But there's actually two of them. Bastard? Yes. Yes, I am. Hi, buddy! Uh-uh. We ain't doing this. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead, chug a health drink. Good. Which means this area should be clear for me. And then up we go. And yeah. Come on, Edward. You got this. If Emily can do this, so can you. It's just maybe. Woo! Made it. I don't want to think of how bad that would be if we actually fell, like, if, say, some Resident Evil or Silent Hill, if the developers decided, oh, hey, we're gonna make this funny. Huh. All right. Now what? And, like, we're gonna pull, like, a Dead Space thing and actually have you, like, accidentally die in the worst way possible. Rather fall to your death than go up in flames. Let's go. <laughs> he 
She's not losing the hat. Oh. All right. So I need to put this on pause for a second. Mostly because my heart's pounding right now. That was a lot easier to deal with than what I was dealing with it on Emily's side. But then again, on Emily's side, I was not expecting that. And that's one of the things that I like about playing two sides of the game so far is that I get to play both Emily's side and I get to play Edward's side. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on the original first three games, like the original Alone in the Dark. They actually have that on Steam and definitely going to be doing a playthrough on that. All right, so. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Actually, well, I'm going to this thing regardless. Thing out of my face who are you what are you doing here i'm just a detective trying to find something called tarawea you after jeremy too why i'm working for his niece she wants to make sure he's all right he might be unharmed but far from all right he's a curse upon deseto oh, here we go again quiet Okay. I got to admit, I'm liking Edward's character so far. Because that was Lottie. Again, if you watched me playing Emily's side, uh, which dropped earlier this week, then you know, we've already met Lottie. Lottie knows Emily, which is the reason why she shows like a little bit of hostility towards Edward. And 
only a detective would think to shoot the monster. That's the only thing I gotta say about that. Alright. We now have... And of course... Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Oh, yeah. We have that. We now have the sitting room key. Two. So. It's the wrong one. We actually need to hold. So if y'all know, I'm actually playing this not on old school. I'm playing this on a uh, modern mode. Which will show up... Which... Yeah. Excuse me. Which shows, like, where there's puzzles and where there's locked doors on the map itself. So. We can now actually get into here. It's wedged shut. It worked. <sighs> Mina. Do you want to get in on the commentary, too? I can hear you through the mic, baby. Yes. My spoiled little house cat. Who likes watching me play video games. Yes, I have a cat. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Alright. We got that one. I don't think I have everything I need. No, we don't. And we also got the cellar key. Cool. Which means I might be able to do it in this part. I've had to break it down on Emily's side. Because of the fact that on Emily's side, I'm going in pretty much blind. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm trying to keep both of them equal to one another. All right. So now that we got that. Hopefully the door's not locked again. Or, okay. So that was just a glitch for last time. Alright. And then here in Lottie's room. And we still have the medicine chest. And if you're playing on Edwards, but you're playing the blind playthrough without going through first, um, this is where you would find the nurse's watch for the Lagnope set. Which is... Crap, which one was it? Not Beast of Burden, a Thousand Young, which we also need a Rosary, and we need a Trumpet. And this one also has Forbidden Knowledge, Secret Objective, Forbidden Knowledge, Secret Objective. I like how it lists... Um... I like how it lists... Where we're gonna, like, what we're gonna find. So that means if we hold this... Lottie's room still isn't done because we haven't gotten the um, key from Grace yet, which is actually up in the grand parlor, which is the next part where we're going to go. I'm going to turn this on because it is dark up here. And that's Dr. Gray's apartment. We can't go in there just yet. Unfortunately. And again, there it is, that little detail. It's wedged shut. We'll go ahead and use the palette knife. It worked. And then we can come into here. 
which should be the hallway between Dr. Gray's apartment and the Mezzane. Anything in here? Ooh, bullets, yay. So it's giving me pistol bullets, but no shotgun. No shotgun shells. I wonder why. All right. So then we can go ahead and unlock this. Which will open up the way to here. Does that look familiar? Kind of looks a little familiar. We can't necessarily open that door because that door is blocked off. We can go in here, though. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, Detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. And as I said in a previous video, Ruth's mocap, mo mocap actor, like, who's doing her movements and everything, go off. Spectacular. This is just great, and it fits the character really, really well. Like, you did a fantastic job with the character. I know I said meh in my last video, and I do apologize, I wasn't meaning to. Those are beignets. Why are there beignets here? Okay. So we're taking a look over here. Let's actually go right past. You know what? This place would have actually looked pretty good cleaned up. Too bad we can't go outside. Oh, hey. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. I still find it funny. She's out here sitting and reading. When in Emily's, she was, um, in the library. Is there anything over here? This leads to the grand staircase. Cool. Probably actually go ahead over here. Make sure to do everything. <sighs> Which cool. 
this will lead back out. But we actually don't want to go back out just yet. We want to head downstairs. That's where we want to go. another thing too. There is a locked door up there which is assuming that this leads up to the attic. There's something in there. And I can't react to the door, unfortunately. Can't open this up. Nothing in here. This is absolutely falling apart. That looks like a bed, a hospital bed. I need the key. Which unfortunately we don't have. By the way, where is the sitting room? Okay. Sitting room's just across. Cool. So... Let's go out this way. There's no... Here. Ooh, yay! We got the medicine box key. We need that. There's a chest here. Let's see if you've got anything for me. Nope. I'm also starting to wonder if maybe on Emily's side I should leave some of them alone. So that way... This leads into the dining room. No, oh, There's more of that aggressive rot. Ugh. Getting worse. On the commonplace of evil. On the commonplace of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence. Careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were. Which science so often wish to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside. Whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude. Follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. And there we go with the title's namesake again. Hopefully nothing spooky happens. And from the dining room, we can get back in there. Cool. I'm just double checking, making sure I don't, like, miss anything. Like I did last time. Cool. Grand parlor's not done. Of course the grand parlor's not done. There's probably something there that I need to... Get to. I go back and double check. Double back. And see what's up. So it's saying that it's not clear in here. 
So that means that we missed that I missed something. So what did I miss? Oh, I missed a chest. That's what I missed. And there we go. Alright. Oh, crap. That's barricaded. That way is barricaded. I thought we could go out that way. But it looks like we actually have to go through the dining room. I also like the slow pace that this has. It's not as fast paced as Resident Evil. The scares are decently timed. I'm gonna stop by Lottie's room and go ahead and use the medicine chest key to get what's in there. Dr. Jenkins lozenges. As we know, that's, um, Cassandra's medication. I'll try it. Can't do the drawing room just yet. Okay. I'm trying to think. Actually, it would probably be better to go ahead and go through on this way rather than and Jeremy's Heartwood's room still not done. But we still have the steamer chest in there that we've got to take a look at. All right. So we know in the dining room the rot's getting a lot worse. And we know that there is a There's something puzzle missing. here. Anybody in here? Oh. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Why does she seem so familiar? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. So... Huh. We already have that one on Emily's side. There's two beds though, so is there another kid? And also, why does Grace seem familiar to Detective Carnby? Not gonna go into Cassandra's room just yet. Cassandra's medication. The bathtub's full, but yet nobody's gotten into it. Here we squeak. Well, well, what have we here? Something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. 
Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCarthy might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Well, that wasn't spooky enough. So, she knows... So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. So... Okay. So she and Edward Carnby know each other. Maybe if we... We can assume from her patient file that maybe... Maybe it might have been... I'll have to go back into the patient files later. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. And of course, we got another one of these astrological locks. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Now we need to find the combination. All right. There's more of that rod again. Like it's guiding me to do something. But what? Oh, indeed. All right. So. Oh, cool. I can rotate. There we go. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it has something to do with the numbers on the labels. We got two, five, and seven. Two, five, and seven. Two, five, and seven. All right. So back into Perosi's journal. We know that two is Pisces. So Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. And there we go. Which, if we recall, there's actually two pieces of it missing. So, we now need to go down to the boiler room. Yeah. There's no way we can get into um, Dr. Gray's apartment. Is there something we're missing in Grace's room? Missing in Grace's room. Mm, 
did I not pick that up already? Oh. Well, I guess I gotta pick it up regardless so that way I can clear the room. Alright then. So... Now we actually gotta go down. Because I believe the only things we have left now is the cellar key. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, not looking forward to going down there. I really and truly am not. But we gotta go back down. We've already unlocked quite a few rooms already. Hey, I wonder what happens if we visit the kitchen again. Hopefully the housekeeper will be a little nicer. Okay. We're not gonna go there just yet. The kitchen door is locked. But actually, while we're here... Let's see if there's anything important down here. This thing looks like some kind of rot. We can go ahead and actually put a piece. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. Yeah, we can go ahead and put that piece there. And then we have to go down here. I wonder if anything's respawned. There's a rat. I'll double check this place, make sure that I didn't miss anything as, um, Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth, but Emily. That's not good. Alright. Well, we're leaving the flashlight on for this. Because this is what's gonna happen. It worked. Power's off. Is there anything in this back corner? Nope. Nope. Yay! We got the valve handle. I'm actually going to pop the shotgun for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your spookiness does not scare me. At least not anymore. I see you! Come on! One, two. T Told you, buddy. That's right, I can't go into this door. We do need to get into... Take the valve handle. And there we go. Did I reload? Yeah, I've reloaded already. Jeremy? Hello? Hey, bud. You good? What? What the hell is 
is going on? What? Are those eyes or barnacles? <laughs> now that I've got another look at them. Where's the body? There is no body. Nothing here. Nothing here. Cool. All right. I'm double checking and making sure. So I'm pretty sure that that was Mr. Wade. All right. And now we can jig, jiggity jig this song. Ugh. So, start here. Because these pieces on the corners are permanent. Meaning they can't move. Actually, very good with sauce. Very, very good with sauce. So. There's that piece. And then we have this piece, which should fit. Yes. And this piece over here should fit over here. This piece should fit down here. This should go here. That should go there. This piece here. Have that piece right. That's in the right spot. There we go. Uh. Oops. I didn't mean to break the boiler. Hmm. Okay. Small dials at five, mediums at seven, bigs at nine. So, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Try to remember that. Try to remember that, everybody. Try to remember that. Five, seven, nine. And there we go. Black glass is showing another room. Must be a way to another one of Jeremy's memories. That is going to be the cellar which we just came out of. And yeah. surrounded by coffin okay that startled the crap out of me that okay phew that honestly I thought it was like a snake or something and now we're coming out of a mausoleum I knew it I knew it would work you're getting good at this Carnby 
Maybe a little too good at this. And now we are in Lafayette Cemetery. Well, I have been recording for over an hour, so I think it's time to call it. If you like, leave a like and subscribe. I'm definitely having fun with this game. I'm loving its slow burn at, like, aesthetic. It's something you don't get from a lot of games. A lot of games are just, like, full-on action, in-your-face scares, and stuff like that. This is actually well-paced. And I'm honestly and truly, again, I'm enjoying this game. I love this game. A lot of people will complain about it or say the story's confusing. But here's the thing. I have to also remind people that this game's being told from two different perspectives. But anywho, if you like, leave a like, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all later. So, later. Bye. Mwah. Oof, my mic peaked. Let me try that again. Bye. Mwah.